Hello everyone. I just wanted to share a short little message since we're just coming from Hanukkah. Um, Hanukkah is all about spreading light. And spreading light is, the, you know, to be a source of positivity and warmth. And um, for everyone you come in contact with, that they should feel uplifted after getting off the phone with you or after speaking to you. And how, sh how are we supposed to be doing that if, you know, sometimes, you know, we have frustrating mornings or we have certain things in our life, like little curveballs that can throw us off and make us feel not as great. Um, so this week's Torah portion, I think uh, once we learn a little bit about it, discuss it for a few minutes, it'll help us really understand how we're supposed to do that, how we could do that. So um, in this week's Torah portion, it's Vayigash. And it talks about Yosef, Joseph, who um, some people are aware of. He had, um, his father was Yaakov, Jacob, and he had 11 brothers. And his father had a special love towards him. And because of that special love, his, um, his brothers were very jealous. And he had one unfortunate um, um, event that unfolded in his life. He was thrown into a pit. He was sold as a slave. He was thrown in jail with false accusations, um, and he ended up becoming the second in command to King Paro. And because of him, through him, um, all the people in Egypt got food. The people in Israel, his own brothers, got food. And um, he ended up being a source of, um, he was a very accomplished person, and he ended up making a big impact and difference in the world. So how did he do it? When he encountered his difficulties in life, he didn't view himself as a victim. That, oh, why is this happening to me? I feel so sorry for myself. Why am I going through all this pain? Instead, he viewed himself as an ambassador, a messenger of Hashem, of God. Um, so even when he was in jail and with false accusations against him, he saw two people who were sad and he asked them, how can I help you? You know, you look so sad. And they told him, you know, they had these dreams and they didn't know what to make of them. And he helped interpret them. And he had a very special power of interpreting dreams. He also later interpreted Paro's dream. Uh, but he realized that this power to interpret dreams, it wasn't because of him. It wasn't because that he was so smart or he was so talented. He recognized that everything, his talents and his abilities are all from Hashem, from God. And he also recognized that all the events that happened in his life, they're all, it's not that, you know, he's just a victim to the circumstance he was in, but this is from Hashem. This is Hashkacha Pratis, divine providence, that this is supposed to be. But we, he didn't know why. He was still experiencing pain, but he really made the best out of every situation because of his mindset, that he is a messenger of Hashem. Everything that happens is Hashkacha Pratis, and when his, his divine providence. And therefore, when his brothers, um, later on, when, they, when he revealed himself to them, when they came to buy food, and they felt when he said, I am, I am Yosef, your brother, is my father still alive? They felt so ashamed. They're like, oh no, you know, we, we acted so horribly towards you. We were jealous of you and we shouldn't have done what we did. And um, they were afraid, you know, is, is he going to take revenge against us? He's like, this is a great position of power. But he told them, he said, Lord, you didn't, you didn't send me here. You know, the fact that you sold me as a slave, it wasn't, it wasn't because of you. Hashem, it was, this is what Hashem wanted. Hashem wanted that I should be in the position that I'm in so that I can um, help others and um, provide food for them. So I think when life throws us curveballs and um, we, if we fall or we feel like we're going through a hard time, pick yourself up and remember you're a messenger of Hashem, you're a messenger of God to be a source of love, of positivity, of warmth. Even when we're going through challenges, we could see who are we able to help? What's the purpose of this challenge? Even though it may not feel good um, at the time, but to recognize that you can help people in whatever situation you are in and um, to recognize that all our abilities, all our talents are all a gift from Hashem and we can be a source of inspiration for other people around us. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the painting and have a great day. Um, going to need a lot of white. Just get that color off. So you could start by mixing a little bit of dark blue and light blue together. So you'll have a, a lighter shade of blue. Like this shade? Yeah, mix more though. And then you'll do one layer of that 
medium blue on the top over there. Yeah, that's a great color. Okay. Can you do one layer of that, Fana? Excellent. Just need one layer. Good. Now under there, oh, let's get water to rinse out your brush. That's a lot of dark blue here. Take water, rinse it out, and put it over here. Make sure there's no paint anymore in it. And then you're going to do a layer of white. Yeah. The layer of white underneath there. It's too wet. Mm. Hey, that's okay. Let's just dry this. All right, do a layer of white. The bottom dress? Not yet. Now on top of the white, could you put some of that light blue? And if you want, you could also mix it with a touch of green. Maybe that light blue, and if you want, you can mix it with, with some green. Medium green? Yeah, just mm -hmm. me medium green, just a touch. There you go. Can mix a little bit of the and the blue together. I know I do. So you'll get like a nice aqua color. And you can do that on top of the like white. That? Yeah, that's perfect. On top. Yeah. Good. And you can go down a little bit more. Go down a little bit more. Good. Get that nice aqua color. Very good. I need more white. Too. Excellent. I might need more white. Yeah, you could do a little bit of white more if you want. We're going to do a light sunset. That's what we're aiming for. And you could also go all the way up so that you blend it to the top. Very good. Excellent. Now, underneath that, Gonna do a thin layer of light orange. You can rinse out your brush. Make sure your brush is clean. That's good. Rinse it out. Make sure your brush is totally clean and dry. Very good. Here, we got. I want to make it dry so that it's not too watered. Just do a thin layer of that light orange color. Approximately that color. I don't know. Look right there. The thin layer. Could even go underneath there a little bit more. Very good. And now take white and then go with a thick layer on top of that orange so that we lighten that up a bit. Very good. More, you could, you could even do more white. Very good. Excellent. And then you could go up so you blend it really well. Very good. You could even do a little bit more. You could do a little bit more orange and white to make that a little bit, a little bit more, give it a little bit more of that color. Right underneath there, you could do that, that orange color. So you have, good, that's perfect. Then you could do more white and make that line go a little bit down further down. Check that. Perfect. You got it. So it's very, very light. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Now what you're going to do is we're going to make some bushy tree, like light trees in the background. So we're going to get some light green and a little bit of black, just for some shadow. Where's the dark, dark green? One second. We don't need the dark green. And just a teeny drop of black. Oh, kind of careful. And a little bit of, a little bit of this. Um, let's 
Let's get it to a little bit of white. Okay. Sunny, ready for the combo? Yeah, but we're not going to do dark, dark green right now. We're going to just do black and black, the light green, and white. Just small Yeah, you could use like a lime. I'm using a little bit of lime tree and a little bit of lime sherbet. If you just have one, that's fine too. Do a little bit of the brighter green too. Okay. Now this is the fun part. You take your cotton balls cotton and balls. I'm going to give you like a few cotton balls. These ones are teeny tiny. We're going to dip it in the black and then the, and then the green. No, 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 not the, yeah, the light green and then the white. Mixed. Yeah. yeah. And now what I want you to do is look over here. Are you able to see something? Just make like a, try to make a straight line across. Why is it dark on the top? okay. We're gonna blend it, don't worry if it's a little. You do wanna see different shades, so it's good if you see a little bit of that black, that's good. And now we're gonna get a little bit more. Kinda you could do now, now do the light green, or you could do the, the, deep, the brighter green, the lime tree, and just white. Yeah. And now we're gonna just do it on top as a top layer. Yeah. And you could, it doesn't have to be even. You could make it taller on one side or shorter on one side. It looks like you need a little bit more white on the top. Can you dip that in white? Dip the whole thing in white, in a thick white. A little bit more, huh? Good. Yeah. And then you want to blend that in. So you want to get that white to go all the way down. Good. If you need more of that light green, take more of the light green if you want. Okay. Yeah, that light green right there. Good. Keep on going. Over here? Yeah. Yep. Just, you want to make it a little bit thicker. Maybe you could add a little bit of the deeper green. Add a little bit more of that deeper green, yeah, just on the bottom. Is that a tough angle for you, Donna? Yeah, do the do the lighter green on top. You don't want too much of that dark green because this is from behind, Donna. Here, I'll give you another one. Just use more like white. You want here? Let's when we dip it in. Let's mm -hmm. dip it. The green and the white. So we got like a nice amount of paint. Okay, are you ready to go for it? I'm gonna do it? Okay, I'm gonna just blend this in a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of black too. So that we have more of a shadow. Yeah, just for the shadows. There's our bushy trees. Whoops. Hold on, I'm a little bit in a funny angle. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of a sun on the top. Ready to do a sun, Hana? Gonna take one small paintbrush. Smaller size. Okay, let's do a little paintbrush. Let's find a little one. Oh, here's a little one. Okay. Dip it in white. And now just make, maybe it's easier to go from the other side, Hana. Just make like a little sun right over there. Right there. Just like a little white circle. Can you do that? Yeah. Like a little white circle right there. Perfect. Excellent. You did it. And then what you want to do is just take that white and just make little like lines that go underneath it. Little like half circle lines. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Take part. Oh, very good. Yeah, you could even take ducks. Yeah. Get some white, very good, for a little bit of a glare. Very good, you did it, Hannah, excellent. Now you ready for the fun waterfall part, Hannah? This is the yes. fun part. Okay, so we're gonna take our wide paintbrush. First, you gotta dry it really good. And you're gonna take your dark blue. Dark, dark. Mix it in dark, and then the light. And you're gonna make a straight line. A little bit on top of the green. Okay. So starting from, 
get get a good angle, Sana. You want to make like a ah. whoops, careful. Are you okay, Sana? Okay. You want to make a straight line. Hold the paintbrush in a way you can make a straight line. Very good. Yeah, maybe do more of the blue, just the plain dark blue, because it looks like the green is still wet, so it'll be like a nice, give it a nice tone. Very good. Now get more of that dark blue and then light blue. Dark blue and light blue. Very good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go in, in a downward but curved motion down. So take your brush. Wait, make sure you got a plenty of paint. The dark blue, just putting, dipping it in the dark blue and then the light blue right on top of that. So what you want to do is go like that. You got it. Perfect. You can get more paint. You want to just make sure these lines are very all coming from the same straight point. You can get more paint, Donna. Dark blue and light blue. Good, and then go down. You could also, if you want, stick a little bit of green in there. You could stick a little bit of medium green and dark blue. You can get like another shade in there. Very good. And go all the way down. Good. And go down to about here. Just make sure it's coming from a straight line. Good. Excellent. There you go. That green is going to be a nice shadow underneath it. You can get more dark blue. Dark. Good. And then the light. Yeah. Perfect. Go all the way down. And some parts of it you could have more just plain dark blue. It's nice to have the shades. No, you could do one with just plain dark blue. Mm -hmm. Do you need more dark blue? Yeah. Get one with just plain dark blue. You could put some more dark blue over there if you want. Okay, you could do plain dark blue, just put that one right there. Yeah. You got plain dark blue, just go right there. Yeah, you got it. Perfect. So you could have different shades. That's good. Underneath. Very good. Okay. Now, you have to wait like a minute for that to dry. So during this time, we're going to do the bushes for a minute, and then we're going to go back to the waterfall. There's the bushes. We're going to do some bushes on the side. So for the bushes, we're going to dip our, Mommy, take our cotton balls. I don't balls. want it dry. I don't, wanna, I don't want it so white. Wanna... You don't want it so white? You want it more dark? So let's just wait one minute. Just, just pop for it to be a little bit more dry. Right in the middle. Like okay. There's black, we got black. You want black, medium green, and that really lime tree green. Okay, ready for the bushes, Hana? Or let's see if it's, is it mostly dry, halfway dry? Let's check. We don't want it to be totally dry. You know what, I think it's dry enough. Wait, I see. I think it's halfway dry. Okay, you ready for the waterfall? Okay, so dip it in. You're gonna need lots of white for this part. Dip it in white. Very, you need a lot of white paint. You need more white paint. Then you're gonna start from this side, all the way from here, and you're gonna make a white line on top of that blue line. Very good, excellent. Maybe get more white. Make that thick white line. Very good. Okay, now dip it in white again. You're gonna start from here. Well, honey, you want that white paint. You don't wanna get that white paint off. So you're gonna go over here and you're gonna make that, those same type of downward lines. All the way down. Good. Keep on going. Just get more white paint. The more white it's gonna look, it depends on how, how dry it was. Very good. Oh, I like that one shade of darker one. Oh, you wanna keep that, hold on, take, put it in white again. Maybe make like a thicker white layer right there. Starting from there and go down really thickly with white. Good, you got it. 
And maybe also over here. And down. Here. Dip it in white again. Yeah, come over there. And then go down. Oh, down right there. Right there. You got it. Oh, but you don't want it to be it's starting to look into light blue. You want to keep that dark. I'm going to put the dark again. I don't, um, going to add some more dark into it, Donna, okay? Because we do want to see the dark. You don't want it to look like a light blue blob. You want it to look like a waterfall. So I'm going to put a little bit more dark, and then we're going to do the, the white again. We'll put a little bit, where's that green that you had before? Over there. And then you had one dark blue. Okay, ready to go for it one more time with white? Here, get more white. And I'm going to put a little bit more of the dark blue over here so you'll see it through it. Okay, take a thick white and go down. Good, thick white. I think we had to wait for it to dry more. We didn't wait. I think we didn't wait long enough. Hmm, we'll just wait another, we'll make it dark blue again. And then... You have to wait when it's halfway dry. Yeah, let's curve it. When it's halfway dry, when it's halfway dry, that's when we are going to add the white. Okay. Okay, ready to do the bushes? We'll do the bushes and we'll come back to the waterfall. When it's halfway dry, then the white comes really nicely. Take your cotton balls. Okay, take your cotton balls. We're gonna do the bushes. Okay. We'll go back to the waterfall. You can always paint over. So dip it in black. black. And then the medium green. And then we're gonna start right over here. Parallel to our waterfall, right there, yeah. And just dab, dab it a lot of times. Very good, Thana, excellent. Dab over there. There we go. All the way up to your waterfall. But you don't want to go very. You want you want the lighter color to also have room. So here, continue over here. All the way to here, Fana. Huh? Okay. Now you ready for the lime tree? Look at that lime tree green. Here, take another combo. Do lime tree. Maybe a little bit of white too. A lime tree with a tap pot of white. Okay, now go on top of there with a the lime tree and the white and blend that in really good. Yeah, blend it in. Very good. If you need, if you, need you could add more of that medium green. Looks like you need a little bit more medium green. You want that to be medium green. Let's move this so people can see. Yeah, that's, that's blending a lot better. Yeah, then go all the way down, kind of. Very good, excellent. You want to do one more bush on top of there? Yeah. Do one more bush on top of there. Do you need more combos? I got all time. Okay, good. So you can dip it in the dark green. We're going to do dark on top, dark green, and medium green. Good. That waterfall a little bit darker. And there it is. And a little bit of green. Oh, we'll see underneath there. What did you do now? Okay, now you just do the, the lime tree with the white. Lime tree, which is a neon green with white, and do on top of there. You could cover up that spot, yeah. And blend that in so you have your second bush. Yeah, do the dabbing, excellent. Yeah, you did it, Hannah, excellent. There's your bushes. 
And you could do the same thing on the other side, so we'll have bushes on both sides, but it'll just make smaller bushes. If you want, you could do one bush, or you could do... Do you want to just do one bush on the other side? Yeah. Okay. So it looks like you need a little bit more medium green. So it green. look like two bushes on two yeah. sides. Yeah. So and a little bit more black you need. Black, yeah. yeah, you can start on this side. Over here. And you can go up. And go up all the... Yeah. So it's all about there. Good. Now you can do the lime tree and the white. Looks like you need more lime tree. The brighter green. If you don't have this one, you could just do regular green mixed with yellow and white. Can you mix that with white too, Hannah? Oh. A little bit of white, yeah. Yeah, you can just dab it all the way down until it's all blended. Oh, dab, 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 good. Dab. Very good. Dab, dab. You're smushing it. Just dab, dab, dab. Good. Good. You want to dab all the way to the bottom. Very good. Could you... Oh, you want to blend that in a little bit more over there? Just blend in that dark in the... Okay. I think probably a waterfall. Oh, now it's more dry. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna take the paintbrush. Dip it in white. Hold on. Is it is the paintbrush clean, Tana? Let's make sure this paintbrush is clean. Uh, let's make sure it's a little bit cleaner. Let's clean it out. And dry it. Now we'll do lots of white. Dip it in the white. Good. Now we're gonna make that line over there. And then go down. Good. Very good. Now go down. Very good. And you only want one streak down. Excellent. And get more white paint, Tana. Tana, get more white paint. Good. 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 Go down. Very good. You did it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Perfect. You want to see some of that dark color. You don't want it to look like a blob. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. You just need one more right there. You want to do that last one over there? Yeah. Just go like that and go. And bring that down, all the way down. Oh, you need to go down from here. Good. You did it, Hannah. Excellent. There's your waterfall. Now the bottom part, um, take some of your um, cotton balls. First, you're going to paint some dark blue. Get some dark blue on the bottom over here. Some dark blue and light blue. Get some dark blue and light blue. Well, plain dark blue and light blue right there. Yeah. Okay, good. A little bit more dark blue. Dark, dark, dark. Over there. Good. Now I'll take the cotton balls and just dip them in white. Take a few cotton balls, maybe. Yeah, dip them in pure white. I got a good idea. We're going to take two cotton balls. Yeah. And now you want there to be more white on the top. Yeah. And go like in a circular motion. Yeah. Circular motion. If you want, that's the splash of your waterfall. And then you want to blend that all the way down. You do want to see some dark color on the bottom of this. That? Yeah, that's good. So you want it to be darker on the bottom and lighter on the top. You got it. Perfect. Now, you're going to take dark, dark blue. Is that paintbrush? And make a line over here. That goes all the way over here. Well, you want a straight line. As straight as you could. Okay, we'll end up covering that part with um, with rocks, so it's fine if there's a little hole over there. 
just want to make it as straight as you can. Very good. So now do like halfway with the dark blue. Maybe you can mix up a little bit of the light blue. Yeah, just a touch. And make a, a darker blue line. Good. Excellent. And then underneath there, you want to clean your paintbrush. Here's um, napkins. And then take the light blue mixed with the green. So you want like a, an aqua. Um, the medium green or with light blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just so we have like a nice aqua color. Do you like that aqua color? Yeah. And then just go like that on the bottom. Good. And then blend that with the top. You have more of the light blue? I can get you a little bit more of the light blue. A little bit more of the light blue in that aqua? Here, here's the light blue. Okay. Okay, and go all the way down. Blend it in. Good. Now what you're gonna do? Oh, take your finger, dip it in the white, and make a line from here, a line down. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. You got it. And now take your finger and just switch it back and forth from one side of the water to the other side. And that's going to make it look like the reflection of the sun that you painted on the top. Yeah, just get it that you don't see that blob of white also. Just want to see reflection. You don't want to smush it. You just want to go from side to side. Good. Excellent. Now it's looking like water. And now take a thin paintbrush. We're almost done. This is this is flat, so it's good enough. Um, oh, you know what I realized we didn't do? Our our rocks. Ready for the rocks? Yes. The rocks are gonna need black, beige, yes, lots of and that light orange and brown. Let's get brown. There's brown. You don't need that much. Okay, so dip, oh, you need a smaller paintbrush for the rocks, then. That's a huge one. Here, take this and mix your, dip your paintbrush in black and then brown. And make a line right on top of that blue. And if you cover over the, over the splashes, that's fine. Yeah. Good. And then on top of there, you could clean out your paintbrush, dip it in beige paint, and then that light orange. Yeah, and that's gonna be the top of the rock. Yeah. You got it. And then blend that in. That's gonna pick up that light orange in the sunset. And you can do one more rock on top of there if you want. So yeah. you wanna do black right behind there. Right behind the rock, you wanna do black, pure black for the shadow. And then you can do another rock behind there. You can do the brown. Good. And then the beige and the light orange. Blend that if you need to more or no? The, the black and brown with the get more of that dark color. Yeah, there you go. 
Okay, we're up to the last finishing touches. Oh, I realize over here there's a little bit of a blank spot. Going on a little bit more bushes over there, like black and green. Or you want to keep that water. I'm make less splashes water. can be here. Okay, it's up to you. You want to make that some more splashes? And you're going to need some dark blue too. There you go. Good. Now well, it's great. Now take white and just make a white line right on top of that blue. Just like it looks like a little bit of a white reflection. Very, very, very thin. Good. And you could do it. Very good. Maybe you need a little bit more white. Just a teeny bit more. Just underneath there. Just underneath the rocks. Perfect. Now if you want, you could also take that white and just make a few little white, like white lines in the water. Like over here. Yeah, you take white again. You can make a few little white lines just to make that water look a little bit more natural. Perfect. Yeah, you got it. If there, there's already, but maybe like over here. Just a few little, very short white lines. Good. Another one. You can do on the other side too. You want them to be very, very thin. Thin white lines. Good, that's it. Even, even shorter. Like short, thin white lines. Yeah. Okay, I think you are done, Sana. Now the fun part is taking off the tape. Are you ready, Sana? There you go, and take it all off. And then show everyone your painting. That was mommy's and that's Sana's. Here, Sana, you want to show everybody? This is Sana's one and this is the one I did. She did a, what do you say, Sana did an A plus job. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. And I hope you enjoy watching. <laughs>